oh no, you actually have to code in your next interview as a programmer. What do you do? Don't worry, just follow these five steps to work through your next coding interview. Number one, you have to understand all the requirements before starting. If anything is unclear at all, make sure to ask your interviewer at the beginning so that you are not wasting time later on. Make sure you know which programming languages you're allowed to use, the time limit, how many questions you'll be completing for the interview, if you're allowed to use outside resources like Google, if you're allowed to have other tabs open. You do not want to be accused of cheating during the interview, so make sure you follow all the rules. Number two is that you want to repeat the question back to the interviewer in your own words. What this step does is first, it allows you to give you some time to think and to process the information clearly. And second, it allows you to clarify what you need to do with the interviewer. If your interpretation of the problem is wrong at this point, the interviewer will be able to let you know. Number three is to write out the skeleton of your code. You may want to start by writing out the signatures for your functions, considering what variables you may need, where you're going to be storing your specific information, what data structures and algorithms you might be want to use, how you're going to be returned the answer, etc. Get the general structure down so that even if you get stuck later on, the interviewer will not get lost and be able to follow your thought process and help you out. Number four is to complete your code. Continue filling in the code until you're able to compile and run the program. Make sure you talk through each step of what are you doing during the stage with your interviewer. They want to know what you're thinking when you write each line of code, and they will be able to guide you along the right path if you get stuck. If there are small things that you can't remember, like a syntax of a specific language, you can definitely ask your interviewer for hints or for guidance, and they will usually be happy to help you out. Five, finally, this is the fun part, debugging. I know, I know, but you are almost there. Whatever area comes up, do not panic. Instead, look to the specific lines that the error message is telling you and try to decipher what the error is trying to say. Consider stepping through your code and finding out what is causing the program to break or return a wrong result. If you get stuck at this stage, don't be afraid to ask your interviewer for a hint on what may be causing the problem. After all that hard work, congratulations, you have just completed your coding interview. Just remember, even if you don't finish the problem or complete the entire test, it does not mean that you are a failure. Coding interviews are some of the best learning experiences where you get to test your knowledge and receive back from another programmer. Treat each interview as a learning experience and they will always be a success to you. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to comment in the discussion below what kind of videos you would like to see next.